himself. <laughs> it's all good. All right. Uh, welcome again. Thank you so much, Greg. Go ahead. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Thank you for giving us some of your time. We're going to probably wait about one more minute for a few that are uh, still joining. So just bear with us for about 60 seconds while we let them in. We'll be discussing Verkata, as you know. Verkata is a, a multidiscipline security provider. Um, they've continued to roll out a variety of product lines. Um, Cam will be touching on that today, but um, yeah, excited to talk to you guys about what Verkata has been bringing to our customers and, and the working relationship between them and, and what their products can actually do for you and your business. Okay. Jane, do you think we have everybody and we can get started? Yep, I'm pretty sure it's <clears throat> good to go. Okay. Well, thank you everybody again. If anybody joined late that didn't hear the first thank you, I wanna introduce myself. I'm Greg Milligan, Senior Account Manager, Associate Partner with Keep IT Simple or KIS. We respond to both. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about KIS for a minute and then some of the things that we like as a partner of Verkata's. Um, so KIS is uh, a company that was founded in 1988, been providing a variety of IT solutions to customers, um, primarily in the Bay Area, but we do have a farther reach for some remote services. Um, our, most of our physical installation, which is, um, you know, with Verkata, we're installing products. So that's our coverage area is about Fresno um, to the northern part of California. <clears throat> we are a full service IT integrator. So we do everything from cybersecurity assessment, threat penetration tests, building out cybersecurity um, deployments for our customers. We also have a virtualization practice. We do a lot of Microsoft uh, cloud migrations. Um, and then myself, I, I'm on the physical security side of our business. Um, and then to touch on Verkata a little bit, for any of you that are new to Verkata, um, they were founded about six years ago. Uh, the owner had um, started Meraki Vision. Most of you are probably familiar with Meraki, had sold off Meraki and started Verkata, who's quickly become the fastest growing, most exciting company inside the physical security space. Verkata currently started as cameras, but currently has five product lines. They have cameras, access control, guest management, alarms, and environmental sensors. We'll touch on that a little more later in the presentation, but one of the things that we liked when we were looking at who we wanted to put forward in front of our customers is who keeps our customers happy. I mean, our relationships with our customers are everything to us at KAS and Verkata has seemed to check all those boxes and their solution meets many of the needs of our current customers and, and our new customers. And uh, everything that comes out of Verkata is backed by a 10 year warranty, which is awesome when you get ready to have a capital expense um, you have that safety of knowing that you are fully covered for 10 years. And also with the licensing side of Verkata, it's really cool. They kind of re-architected um, security, traditional security systems, as some of you may know, would tie into an NVR, DVR. Verkata's decentralized all that and uh, now communicates with the cloud and um, rolls firmware updates directly to their platform. So the system is constantly maturing. And that's another part when you get ready to to have a capital investment with something like Verkata is knowing that your system will mature with you. Uh, it was very attractive to me when I got into business with Verkata. And we are a vendor agnostic shop. We can sell any camera system, security building access system that we like, um, but we have chosen Verkata to lead with. And uh, it's, it's kept people very, very happy, as I mentioned. Um, I'm going to turn things over to Jane. We're gonna start with a trivia portion and then Cam will jump into a Verkata, uh, first talk about some of the product lines and then uh, demo later in the presentation. Thank you all for joining. Jane, you have the floor. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, just let me, uh, just one second, sorry about this guys. Uh, just let me pull up my first question. Just a second. Thank you for your patience. Okay. 
Alrighty, um, let's start us. So KIF says it has a specific focus as a differentiator from other similar companies. What is that focus? And of course you have 10 seconds to answer it. And I'm gonna launch the pool right now. So is it a, a repeat business, experience, lead time or client needs? And you have 10 seconds. Of course, we're already on 17, but that's okay. I'll give everybody a chance to answer for this first one. Yeah. All righty, I'm gonna end the poll. Thank you. And of course it's client needs. So thank you so much. And we can see that uh, we have 80% of people answering correctly. Thank you. So the next question we're going to kick off with Workata as well. So let's see how much people know a little bit more about Workata. So what is the minimum amount of bandwidth Workata devices require at the resting state? You know, let me just launch the poll. And you have 10 seconds, one gigabyte, 20 gigabyte, one terabyte or 20 megabytes. Uh, so what is it? And you have 10 seconds. There you go. We're ending this, thank you. And we have 20 gigabytes. Uh, thank you so much that the for sure. the device sure. is yeah. Kilobits per second. <laughs> oh, sorry, thanks. Kilobits per second, thanks. All righty. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and um, pass down the mic to Cam. Welcome, Cam. Thank you so much for joining us. Perfect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. That's yep. okay. Yes, go ahead. Click share button. Perfect. Um, and then I will jump into things. So thank you so much um, for the uh, intro, Greg. I feel like I don't probably have to go over so much uh, today because you pretty much sold Vercata <laughs> before I could get on. So it's great. Um, Greg's been a, uh, KIS has been a partner of Vercata for, you know, a few years now. So uh, you can tell he's he's built well versed in our solution. Uh, but today, um, just to introduce myself, my name is Cam Fillmore. I am a senior channel sales manager here at Vercata. Uh, and a quick agenda of what we're going to go over today. Um, we're gonna go into just a Verkata overview. Uh, we're gonna go, to, we're, then we're gonna talk about a little bit of hybrid cloud uh, access control and how that pairs with our camera solution. Uh, and then we're gonna go into a Verkata command demo. So we'll show you the solution. Um, I'm gonna be focusing primarily on Verkata cameras and access control today. We do have other solutions, um, but to keep it short and sweet and, and leave time for questions at the end, I'm only gonna be focusing on those two products. So if you do have questions, um, there is a Q&A uh, tab at the bottom of your Zoom box. Uh, please make sure to uh, submit your questions in there um, and Jane will, will ask, uh, be able to ask those at the hey, Daniel, end uh, of the presentation. Um, so just before we get things kicked off, thanks for everyone for attending. Um, you guys all qualify for a $10 Visa gift card. Uh, the only caveat is you must uh, have provided a work email and phone number, uh, be based in the U.S. and attend the entire webinar. Um, once this webinar is over, please uh, make sure to give a, a few weeks for shipping of uh, the gift card uh, to be delivered. Sometimes it takes three to four weeks. If you don't see it by then, feel free to reach out directly to Jane. Um, and, and uh, she'll get in contact with me to make sure it gets delivered. Um, so we already did the uh, first part of trivia. Um, I don't know, Jane, if we want to do this this next part or do I jump into the presentation? Yes, jump in the presentation, but you can quickly tell um, the viewers that it's a um, six total questions, one winner per question, and for um, first four questions are twenty five each, and the last two are fifty dollars each. So one again, one question, one winner per question. Um, Got so it. Go ahead. Yes, thank you. Perfect. Okay, jump in a little bit about Mercata. So we are the fastest growing physical security company in the world. Uh, we're based just about 20 minutes south of San Francisco in San Mateo, California, uh, and we have offices 
all over the globe. Uh, we've expanded about to about six offices across the US. Um, we also have an office in the UK and an office in Australia. Uh, and we're backed by some of the best investors in the Silicon Valley, uh, Miratech, Sequoia, First Round Capital. Uh, these are the same investors that invested in the likes of companies like Uber, Facebook, Airbnb. Awesome. Um, yeah, so in and the- just to kind of go over a quick company kind of background, we were founded in 2016 uh, by a group of computer scientists um, and a gentleman by the name of Hans Robertson. Uh, Greg talked about um, him a little bit, but he founded a company called Meraki. Uh, back awesome. and then sold yeah, to no Cisco worries. in 2012 yeah, so like, for one point uh, two uh, billion dollars. Um, uh, our current employee count actually is a little bit over a thousand. I think we're actually at over 1,200 uh, now. Um, we've ex- been expanding like crazy. Um, and what's great is our founders actually took a software-first approach on the modern-day enterprise physical okay, security worry. system. Um, what does that mean for you as a customer? Uh, that means uh, no additional infrastructure needed yeah, like yeah. servers or Thursday network or video Friday. recorders uh, or uh, thick clients or additional third party software. Um, no um, you know, firewalls necessary or things that are, are kind of required to, to run a traditional uh, physical security system. Um, with Verkata, all of our devices are connected directly to the internet uh via a poe cable power over ethernet yeah, yeah, so um and that cable runs directly to a switch in your idf closet and that can, and that device would have internet access our vision really is to not only be the safest and most secure product from a cybersecurity standpoint all of our products are encrypted not only in transit but also at rest but also to protect your people assets in your privacy. Cool. Awesome. Uh, so to jump into kind of hi- Verkata's hybrid cloud security solution, uh, one thing that really differs uh, from us is all of our Verkata products, whether it's cameras, whether it's access control, whether it's environmental sensors, um, Verkata guests, or Verkata alarms. Uh, so we have five different product models. Um, all of them are gonna connect directly with the cloud um, via PoE cable and our, our uh, every single device actually operates at the most bandwidth friendly rate of about 20 to 50 kilobits per second. Um, how we do that is actually um, each one of our devices actually has storage on it from a camera perspective. Our cameras actually have 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, um, 120 days, all the way up to 365 days of uh, continuous recording on the physical camera itself. Um, And then we push metadata and thumbnails to the cloud about one ping every eight eight seconds uh, to allow us to search through and filter through footage um, and uh, alerts to find the specific um, thing that you're looking for as as a user. Um, That line over the top is really, really important as well. Um, That is actually the ability for all of our devices to work in offline mode. Um, You have the ability to create a offline certificate uh, per device and actually run that device, view it over the local area network without um, any internet access, just in case the internet goes down while you're at your facility. So just to jump into a little bit about our access control product, you know, there's a uh, three different things that are very, very important that make our, our platform and our product from an access control standpoint uh, better than what you t- typically see out there on the market. So the first is um, ease of install and upgrade, right? It's just this AC41 controller that can control up to four different doors. And then there's also an auxiliary port additionally added to that controller to allow you to do things like um, create a siren or hook up to a bell or hook up to any other additional thing that you want to run some type of input off of a a trigger or something being signaled from an access control standpoint. The second thing is is that we video verify everything. It's just a couple of clicks, which I'll show you in the demo, to add a Verkata camera to verify, is that person the right person who should be entering the building? As well as if there's things like tailgating happens. So someone 
swiping their badge and one or more additional people following them into a specific facility. The last thing is, is the unified platform approach. People love having one single pane of glass to go through, go to for all of their physical security needs, whether it's access control cameras and so on and so forth. You have one place to pull audit logs as well and understand not only the health, um, but uh, how your specific environment is performing. So to go into the two different uh, pieces of hardware that Mercata um, provides uh, from an access control standpoint, uh, we also provide an 8032, which is a door reader. So this door reader actually has the ability to operate in high frequency or low frequency uh, ways. Um, you're able to actually do cardless Bluetooth entry with our 8032 uh, card reader. Um, we also support legacy uh, card formats as well. So if you have existing uh, readers or cards within your building, uh, our 8032 will support that. Uh, the second product you're seeing over on the right side is the AX11, which is a part of our access control um, product. This is actually our IO board that we released uh, that's specifically designed for elevators and monitoring doors. Um, so with that IO board, you're able to uh, uh, monitor up to 16 different zones uh, in two different elevators with one board. Um, if you have other doors that might not need access control, uh, but you do want to understand whether they're jarred or whether they're locked, uh, you can also use the AX11 to do so. Um, the last, the, the second thing is, is security for every single door. Um, so you actually have the ability to have wireless door locks that are compatible with Verkata. And then the next slide, I'll kind of go through that partnership that we have. But what's beautiful is you have the same ability with wired card readers with wireless door locks. So you're able to um, easily configure this and low fat, uh, traffic doors with your Verkata command and more. Uh, you can scale this across all of your access control in your organization and view every lock just like you would do with a reader. And you also, which is the most important thing and for all of our clients, have the ability to instantly lock down and secure your building um, with the wireless door locks as, as well uh, if you need that capability. Um, there's a new product that we just released from our access control uh, product. It is called the Verkata Badge Designer. So no longer are you having to go out and buy third party cards and make sure that they integrate with our, our product and our readers. We now create and, and uh, sell our own uh, badges. Um, and you can actually design your own badge uh, with pictures, names, um, barcodes and scanners if necessary, and print that badge directly from your location for your, uh, for your employees. Um, so this is great. We now sell all of the different components of an access control system um, and make it easy for you to, to deploy. Uh, the next thing I wanted to go into was uh, automated end-to-end -end credential management. Um, a lot of our customers, customers ask, hey, I love your solution but it's very hard to manage um, our users being onboarded and off, uh, offboarded onto a company. No worries, we integrate with S SSO platforms uh, like Okta, um, well, one, one login, any kind of single sign-on you have. And we have the, also the ability to integrate with Microsoft Azure um, directory. So you can actually automatically group users and scale them based on their profiles and credentials. And if they're removed from that Azure environment, um, they'll automatically remove from access to your building. Um, and the last thing is you're able to natively badge print and design um, based off of how you want those, those badges to look for, for any of your employees. Um, the next thing is that's really cool that a lot of our, our customers love is the ability to not only uh, do Bluetooth unlock through our mobile pass app, which is the Verkata Pass app. It's in the iOS and Android stores. Um, it acts as a digital key card. Um, this is exactly what I use when I come and go from work. I no longer come to work with a key card. I literally bring my phone, 
And as long as it's in Bluetooth mode and I get within a certain parameter of a reader or door, um, it'll automatically unlock and allow me to go in. Uh, the next thing that it also does is it gives you the ability, if you have that capability, to activate a lockdown directly from your mobile device. Um, so if there is an emergency uh, situation, an administrator can initiate that lock lockdown directly from the app. The last thing I wanted to go over was the wireless uh, locks um, integration that we rolled out earlier this year with Allegion in their Solage readers. Um, you'll see over here to the right, uh, the different readers um, that we integrate with, their AD 400 and AD 300 readers, but it'll look something like this from a wireless reader standpoint. You'll be able to badge in and badge out just like uh, using a wired reader and instantly lock down in, uh, the building from your app or Bricada command. Um, perfect, with that, I'm going to pause and uh, pass it back over to Jane for the second, second part of trivia. Uh, thanks, Kim. Um, let me just share my screen, of course. So this, um, we got where the share button. <laughs> Go. Um, so this question is uh, relates to Ricardo, of course. How uh, how much free cloud backup storage do you get per camera? And let me launch the questions and you have tech, tech seconds to go. All right, so it's 30 days. Woohoo! Congratulations to the 70% of people who answered correctly. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna do the question number four. Third-party readers and key fobs do not work with Verkata access control. Is this is a true or four question? And you have, uh, let's see, you have 10 seconds to answer it. Let's go. All right, and of course it's false. Thank you. Good, good, good. All right, thanks, Cam. I think we're ready for you. Perfect, thank you so much. I'm gonna jump back in and share my screen. And can you see the presentation right now? Yep. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to jump into our product demo now and go through um, our Verkata cameras and access control products. So what you'll see is I have my Okta screen open and I kind of wanted to demonstrate how we would integrate with a single sign on. Uh, we use Okta here at Verkata. So I'm already logged into that. All I would do would be um, click on that button and then it'll automatically launch my Verkata command system, authenticate me as a user. Um, and pop up with all the different products I have access in my specific environment. So this is the Verkata demo environment, which you'll notice is all the cameras are on live here. I can hover over each one of these cameras and if I stay long enough, that camera will actually start to play real time what's going on in that specific camera. I can scroll down and view separate uh, sites and subsites. So this is floor two, garage, so on and so forth. I can also click this button in the top left-hand corner which will allow me to see all of the sites and subsites broken down um, as a list view. If I'm more of a visual learner, what we've done is we created a Google integrated map in the bottom right hand corner over here. And if I click that button, it'll actually enlarge and show you all the different uh, cameras I have access to across the world. So just wanted to demonstrate really quickly how easy it would be for me to go jump over to the UK London uh, HQ office. All I had to do was click on those cameras and over here on the left-hand side, it's gonna auto um, filter the cameras that I'm looking at in this view and show me those cameras and what's going on in those cameras. So I can actually see what's going on at the London office. Looks like everybody's gone home because we're a little late. 
it's uh, kind of late in the afternoon or early morning for them, but we can kind of look at what the skyline looks like over in London if you're, you're interested. Uh, just to jump back here for a second, um, I'm gonna jump back out to view all the cameras and then I'm gonna click into our HQ here in San Mateo, California. I'm going to click in on these 46 cameras. And what's beautiful here is we have a stoplight system at Vercada. So all these cameras are all circled, lit up in green. That green is good. It means they're on, they have access to the internet, and they're operating as the way they're supposed to be. Uh, what's beautiful here at Vercada is if anything happens to your device that goes offline, it loses power, um, you will get an alert directly as an administrator uh, notifying that that camera went offline or that camera is down. If a camera gets tampered with, what's beautiful is we have this thing called an accelerometer inside of that camera. It's the same technology in your smartphones um, that know it's being moved, which is why they lit, light up when you touch them. Um, same thing inside of all of our cameras uh, that allow us to know when it's being tampered with. So if someone takes a bat to the camera, if someone wiggles the camera, if someone tries to put a hat over it, it's going to signify an occlusion event and alert the administrator that that camera is being tampered with. Um, I'm gonna cl click into the Vercada HQ and what's gonna happen, it's gonna pull up a floor plan. Uh, we have the ability to do this, not only for our instance, but for all of our customers instances as well. All we would need is a floor plan of your environment and then we can actually drag and drop cameras and sensors uh, on top of this floor plan. So you'll notice all of these different flashing uh, uh, cameras are actually um, because there's motion happening. So if I click into that camera, we'll see there's a delivery guy on, on the back side of the building getting ready to deliver something. I can also click in onto these uh, environmental sensors, uh, which judge a number of different things, but kind of tell you the health from an air quality perspective inside of your building. Um, I'm gonna click into our front door camera, what's over here in the bottom left-hand corner. This is a 4K camera. So you'll notice this is one of the best resolution cameras we have uh, and faces look really, really clear. What you'll notice is at the bottom, you'll see all of these different uh, 24 hour clips that you can hover your mouse over and you can fast forward uh, or rewind a whole day's worth of footage in just um, a few seconds, which is awesome. Um, if I like to view those clips into a short amount of time, I can click on the clips down at word arrow button and I can adjust all the way down to 20 seconds if necessary. I always like to do one hour clips um, just because it's a little bit easier to digest. Um, but what you'll notice is at the bottom of the screen, there's these blue little tick marks in that clip box. Those are people in vehicle counters. Whenever a person comes to screen, it's gonna highlight them in a green bounding box and it's gonna follow them through the screen, picking up things like shirt color, pants color, are they wearing a backpack uh, and facial um, as well. If it is a car, um, it's gonna highlight that car in a yellow bounding box and it's gonna follow that car through the screen, picking up things like color, make, model, as well as license plate, um, which is really cool. So if I was gonna do an active investigation, uh, what's cool here is just by clicking on this people tab, I can actually search this specific camera, which is a 30 gig camera for certain attributes of a person. So let's say I had a perpetrator and they were wearing a blue upper shirt, upper body, they were blue shirt and their gender appearance appeared to be male. Um, I can click those filters and what you'll notice down below is all of these JPEGs pop up of any person in a blue variegated color shirt that appears to be male. Um, and I can scroll back through the entire 30 days of this camera to try and go to the individual that I was looking for. What's cool here is let's say I actually get to the individual that I wanted to see. I can actually download uh, this image of this person. Uh, this is only the side of his face and he also has sunglasses on. Um, so I kind of wanted to, to, to show you kind of uh, how easy it is to kind of upload a picture, but I downloaded that. I can also create a profile around this person. So let's say, hey, this is the perpetrator. Um, he's a security guard. I wanted to um, uh, create a profile. It looks like a profile has already been created on this person. So I can actually view this profile and see anywhere else this person has been inside of the entire Vercada building, uh, which is beautiful. So if there's any other camera, Vercada camera you have access to, it's gonna search across all those cameras 
is it going to show you anytime this person was viewed across all the retention of all those cameras, making it very easy for you uh, to make sure um, you know, you're finding the specific person you're searching for. Um, want to be very clear here, this is not facial recognition, even though it looks like it, it is actually face search. So what it's doing is all of these JPEGs already live on all the cameras. And what it's doing is it's taking this JPEG right here. And it's taking 90 different attributes of this person's eyes, ears, mouth, nose, and forehead. And it's matching those attributes with all of the attributes of any person that was seen on any of the JPEGs on any of the cameras. And then it's just making that information more accessible to you to be able to filter through and find the information, which is really cool. Um, I'm gonna jump back over to our home button um, and I am going to show you really quickly how to save some footage and share it. So what's beautiful with Verkata, let's say you did um, you know, do a search, you search for a person and you got the specific person you were looking for. Um, and this was the perpetrator. I can actually enlarge that video. It's going to play that video back. I can add multiple cameras to this specific video to see different angles of the video up to four different cameras uh, to do a multi-camera playback. But what's beautiful is if I wanted to download this footage instead of, or save this footage instead of downloading onto a thumb drive, you just click that download arrow button. And now what it's gonna do, is gonna pull it off the solid state storage device and share it in your, and save it in your Verkata archives, which is back up to AWS. With Verkata, you get unlimited cloud archiving. So all of those servers you used to have on premise to store different footage, and definitely you can completely get rid of that uh, with Verkata because it comes included. Um, you can share this with your organization. You can create a note. You can add a tag to help you filter and find this footage um, after you save it. You can change the timestamp location of the footage as well. But I'm going to deselect share with my organization, and I'm going to click save. And what you'll notice is that will start to save. Um, I'm going to back out here and I'm going to go to my home button, click on my archives view, and it'll show you all the different archives that I have shaved or someone else has saved um, and shared with me. You'll notice this is the one that I just clicked saved on. But if I wanted to go back and view a specific archive, I can click that archive, that play button on that archive, which you'll notice in the top left hand corner of the screen. It is date stamp, time stamp, location stamp. So this is a court admissible piece of footage. We know exactly the chain of command. It lives in AWS. No one has the ability to tamper with it once it's saved. Um, and so you can actually take this and share this directly via email, phone, or contact that already lives within your database. So all you would need is someone's phone number or email, type that in and instantly share access to view the video or view and download for whatever period of time that you want. Um, so just showed you kind of how to find, save and share things of um, older information. One last thing I wanted to show you is not only can you share previous video, but you also have the ability to share live video. So just clicking this button on an actual camera, just like I would uh, save archive or share archive video, I can actually share live video directly with someone and give them the abilities to not only view the video live, but also search back in time with all of the application features. They will not need to download an app. They will not need to download anything on their phone. It will simply come in over as a link. They click on that link and it'll pop up in whatever browser they use um, as their default browser and allow them to view that camera. Um, this is very, very key for emergency situations where you might need first responders. Uh, you can quickly share this with your local authorities. So jumping out of here, um, I wanted to go back and kind of show you quickly the access uh, uh, control perspective. What's beautiful here is you don't have to jump between applications. You don't have to download anything else. This is all in my Google Chrome browser. All I have to do is click on access and voila, I'm now moved into the access product of Verkata. Um, with uh, Verkata, what's beautiful is you can now pair any uh, up to two cameras per door. So I wanted to show you kind of how this works. You can roll out access control without Verkata cameras, 
Um, if you need be, you do not have to have cameras in order to roll it out. If you did roll it out without cameras, this is what it would look like. It'll still show you all the information of people uh, coming in and out and how you would add a camera is just click that camera button and select through the cameras that you have. And then it'll start pairing all of the, the badge swipe information uh, with the camera information going all the way back a whole year, which is beautiful. Uh, so very, very easy to add um, a, a camera there. I'm gonna go to a, uh, a door that already has um, a camera installed or set of cameras installed with it. Um, so you can be able to kind of see what it looks like when people are coming and going. Um, so down below, what you'll see is all the times uh, the door has been open, whether it's been uh, unlocked with a key card, whether it's been uh, open directly, so force open from the inside out, whether it's been Bluetooth unlocked or so on and so forth. What I always like to see and what a lot of our customers like to see is all the different event types that we currently um, so, uh, uh, keep uh, on your access control product. So everything from unlock attempts to uh, access uh, rejected all the way down to things like tailgating and crowd and tampering notifications. What's beautiful here is you can kind of search through all the times tailgating event happen what it will show you is anytime someone unlocked the door and then mul multiple people kind of followed behind that specific person. So you're seeing two or more people come out here with one badge unlock. Um, so this is a very, very um, good way to kind of source through to see all the, the incidents that might be um, a security incident uh, inside of your, your, your specific building. You can also see the different types of access that this door has. So different groups who have access to it whether it's uh, IT people, whether it's all your employees, engineering, uh, workplace people, residents, you can kind of separate who has access to this building, or sorry, to this door. And then you can also set a schedule. So uh, how often do you want this door locked, unlocked? Uh, is there a third party reader that requires an entry code and, and, and kind of making sure that that is required during certain time periods or uh, creating an exception. So whether it's a holiday, whether it's a um, specific date, um, parent teacher conference, so on and so on, so forth, you can set an exception for doors to be locked or unlocked during that time period as well. Um, just by a click of a button, I just want to show you how easy it is to unlock a door. I can click that unlock button and then it's going to record me doing a web unlock directly here on that door from an auto perspective. Um, so jumping back over here, uh, the last thing I did want to show you is uh, quickly the events tab. Uh, so we have events for not only our cameras, but also access control, license plate recognition, and as well as alarms. Uh, what's really cool here is actually you can actually see every single time someone unlocks or locks the door and you can go through and scroll through um, what's going on in your building in real time. So whenever a new unlock happens, it's gonna automatically populate at the top of the screen, but I can go back here, click on Drew List and see when he unlocked that door uh, with his Bluetooth uh, uh, a couple of minutes ago at 1035. And it's gonna show that video evidence of Drew coming out with his great golden locks hair. Um, so you can see it was him. Um, perfect. Uh, with that, I'm going to jump back into the presentation um, and, and wrap things up. Um, share my screen here. So just to kind of go over the, the final things of why customers love Ricotta, there's three main reasons why customers love Ricotta. We try to make it as easy as possible. You notice the design of our product, um, the use, the ease of use of our product um, is very, very easy and intuitive. We make that on purpose. Um, and there's no, uh, there's no required necess necessary to have additional on-premise servers to manage Verkata, right? Um, you're also able to access this on just a web browser or uh, through your applications on your phone, uh, if necessary, with just a few clicks. Um, we also do automatic firmware updates. So we roll out new features and new functionalities to all of our products instantaneously over um, the internet directly to that product. Um, so when you uh, purchase Ricotta, you actually buy into a solution that actually appreciates instead of depreciates over time. Um, it'll get better and better. 
and you won't have to pay for any additional features that are sent to it. And then the last thing is, is we make it really easy to grant and revoke access. Like I said, from an access control standpoint, we, uh, we uh, integrate with a Microsoft Azure uh, directory to allow you to onload and offload people very easy as well as Okta and other single sign-ons. Um, it's smart. So we do automatic uh, event alerts. You can do things like motion alerts. You can do things like tailgating alerts, person of interest alerts, so on and so forth. You also have the ability to instantly share live video. This separates us from a lot of different uh, competitors on the planet. planet. Most of them require you to actually have a user created or application downloaded in order for them to share video or access to the system. With Verkata, all you need is a phone number. Uh, and then the last thing is that makes it makes us very unique from a smart standpoint is the ability to do advanced search filters. So you notice I could search on faces. I could search shirt color. I could search on a uh, license plate uh, number, a lot of different ways to search and find things to make it very easy for you to understand what's going on inside of your building. Um, the last um, uh, thing that's that's important is scalability, right? So with Verkata, it's not gonna cl clog down your network like other IPs will. We only operate at about 20 to 50 kilobits per second per device at a steady state. Um, and we come back with a 10 year product warranty. So no more are the days of a product going out, you know, three years or four years into you um, after you purchased it, and then you having to purchase a whole nother piece of hardware. Uh, as long as you have an active license with Arcada, you will never, you will not have to purchase another piece of hardware for 10 years. We cover that product. So if anything happens, we will drop ship and RMA make uh, a device directly to you. Uh, to have it swapped out for the device that's faulty. And then the last thing is it doesn't matter whether you want to install one door or one camera or 10,000 doors or 10,000 cameras. Um, it's super, super scalable with no additional hardware and necessary to uh, install uh, bulk amounts of our products. Um, we're trusted by some of the easy, uh, top industry leaders across the globe. Um, over, you know, 9,700 organizations use Verkata today, uh, and we're actually in over 40 of the Fortune 500 companies. Everything from schools to uh, higher education to technology companies to uh, finance institutions and banks, as well as uh, retail um, in, and uh, gyms and so on and so forth. Um, one thing I liked uh, to always add um, if any of you guys are interested in any of our products, we uh, always love to let our products do the talking for us. Uh, so please, if you're interested, we do free 30-day risk-free trials. Uh, we'll ship, we'll pay for shipping both ways directly to your facility. Um, all you have to do is make sure you reach out to sales at kisc.com and we'll make sure to get that uh, free trial over to you. Um, with that, I will uh, pass it back over to James to wrap things up with Q&A. Thanks, Cam. Uh, uh, the product is very great. I'm very excited uh, that Avrakata created a camera that can, you know, make us feel safer around the office um, or, you know, for workers as well, employees. Uh, so let me just um, complete two last questions that we have for trivia. And those are worth of $50 each. And again, one winner, unique winner per, uh, per question. Just share my screen. And then we can go ahead and do the any questions at the end. So this is a true false question to add a virtual guard a alarm monitoring to all of your cameras. You need to purchase additional hardware to deploy. And this is a true false question. Uh, let's see. And you have 10 seconds. That is correct. That's false. Thank you so much. We have 94% of uh, correct answers. 
Congratulations. Woo! <laughs> and our last question is, if your internet connection is disabled, will, uh, will your Verkata access control door still work? Let's see, and again, you have 10 seconds to answer this. Is it not sure? Maybe yes or no. And that is correct. A lot of people say yes, <laughs> 100%. So yes, great, people were listening. Um, thank you for playing with us. And now we uh, open up uh, for any questions. Let us know. But meanwhile, I want to thank um, Cam for, for creating this great um, presentation for us and uh, doing a live demo. No, no problem. It was my pleasure. Okay, we do have one question. Thank you so much. Um, um, if you can see Cam, how do you Verkata cameras and locks handle complete loss of power at the building? That's a great question. Yeah, love that question. So um, we actually have a Verkata access control backup battery um, that you would install within your access controller. Uh, that door or the set of doors that is powered by that controller will be able to run off of that backup battery after the power goes out for four to eight hours, obviously, depending on how much it's getting used. Um, so it, it kind of is a, an additional redundancy there. Uh, similarly, how does it handle uh, any extended loss of internet? So we went over that in trivia, but I'll, I'll dive a little bit deep, deeper into that. So what happens is every single one of our devices has storage inside of it. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna save the last configuration that was set to it over the internet and it'll allow as long as it has power that access controller to open and close any of the doors that are being uh, triggered by it uh, if it doesn't have internet access. Uh, so it still continues to work. Any things you do or uh, add to it or users you add to it while it's not online, obviously won't be able to work, but it'll save everything else that, that used to. And then the last question in there is, is there any way to obtain a closed circuit live feed? Um, I'm assuming, Steve, that you're asking uh, for a live feed of cameras. Uh, if so, um, yes, um, you can receive a live feed uh, directly uh, from uh, the Verkata command, I'll show you really quick. That's one of the biggest things that kind of changes us from, you know, other uh, camera solutions on the, on the, in the environment. So all you have to do is go to a specific camera, click on the share button, enter in someone's phone number or email, and you can actually share live video or share video and features directly with uh, an outside user. And then once, if you want to manage kind of um, all the different uh, links that you've sent out, you can kind of go to your manage links section and revoke or extend or expire different accesses that you've given to different people um, or phone numbers if necessary. Hopefully that answers that question. Any other questions while you have me? Yeah. Can you share an entire dashboard to law enforcement versus one camera? Yes, you can. So I'll show you really quick. Um, you can actually go to a floor plan and I can actually click share here and do the same thing. It'll share every single camera inside of that specific site. Um, so they will actually see the floor plan just like I'm seeing here. They can click on the different cameras and we can share live video or video on all features as well. So yes, we can. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Super informative. Go ahead. Cool. I'm excited Any, about it. Um, at the KIS office, we're going to install some of the access uh, automatic controls too. So I'm excited for that to just come in and, yeah. and open yeah. up with my phone. because. Yeah. Uh, it's very, um, very cool. 
Yeah, because I, I, I come in, I, I bike in the morning, so uh, sometimes yeah. it's very hard to juggle with keys and hold the bike. and Yeah, I understand. I understand. Perfect. Well, uh, I will, uh, I know we're, we're coming up on the, the top of the hour here, so um, yeah. I will let you guys go. So if you guys have any other questions, please reach out directly to Jane. But I really appreciate your guys' time today. You guys have a wonderful rest of uh, yes. your afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a nice yep. day. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Greg. Bye, Bye. everybody.